I'm back in Scotland at the Edinburgh International Film Festival, and with me today is Eric Gravel. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. And whose film Full Time just premiered here yesterday. Um, for our viewers who are not able to be here right now, can you tell me in your own words what it's about? Well, it's about a mother who lives far from uh, Paris and uh, lives in the countryside, but has to go work in Paris every day. And it's, uh, it's her life during a week or two where she has to to go work during strikes and at the same time try, at the same time try to uh, to get uh, another job in something that she likes more than what she does at, at that time. I have to say, it completely blew me away yesterday. Um, the film offers a look um, at people that are mostly or often unseen, um, but they keep our society running. Um, was that important to you? to show those people? Well, at the beginning I wanted to talk about the people who take the trains every morning, but uh, of course these people, if they take the trains every morning, it's because they have a job. And uh, I had to find my character a job, and uh, I found that it was interesting that during strikes somebody who has a job that cannot be on strikes will be interesting. And, uh, and uh, to, to, to make it as a maid in a palace, uh, I thought will have, give me a good contradiction uh, and perspective in a story where everybody on strikes and you have these people working for the very rich and that don't go on strike because they don't have to and they work for them, you know. So I, I find it was a, an interesting way of, you know, telling the story. How did you come up with the story in the first place? Well, I live in the countryside, so uh, it was a reality that I knew, my neighbors and people that I see on trains every day. So that was the, 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 the bottom of the, the story was there, but that's not enough, you know. You can think about, you know, people taking the train in the morning, go to work, come back at night, but it doesn't make a good story. So I had to find a way of making it uh, an interesting story. But I think we all live through that kind of things where there's days where we have to run like chicken to make, uh, you know, a, a life, uh, and um, that I thought, you know, if I take, I pick every little details of our lives that we all can relate it to, maybe it can can make a story, an interesting story about uh, what we're going through. You know. When I watched the film, I had the constant fear that uh, Julie is about to break every second, and. Uh, it's quite impressive how she handles everything. And um, how did you find the, the, this character? Well, I didn't want to make it middle drama. You know, in the middle drama, the characters sometimes they, they break, they, they have problems, and they, they cannot solve the problems. And I saw this woman as a fighter, and I wanted to have a fighter. You know, somebody who said, "Well, I have no choice. I have to." To go forward, and uh, even if uh, if uh, if it's difficult, there's no way I'm gonna I'm gonna let it down. So uh, that's and I know with Lockheed Amy, the main actress, that's how we saw her. You know, like a rock that that you know cracked from everywhere, but doesn't break. You know. How did you find her? Well, I thought of her. I asked her if she would love to play the role, and she said yes. That was very simple. But the most important thing was that we talk about the character, and we we both saw the same person, and we knew uh, that we had the same uh, Julie in mind. So that was the, the the easiest part. And after that, you know, she's a she's a big worker. She's a hard worker, uh, and I think I, I am too. So we. We, we, we got along very well, you know, creating the, the character. What do you want the audience to walk away with after watching the film? I'm not sure. I think I'm a director who's asking a lot of questions, but I don't have necessarily the answer. Maybe, maybe if, uh, you know, you go see my movie and you find your own answer about the balance between your life and your work and the, the, your, your, your personal life, maybe that's a good start. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, with this film, you won the Best Director Award in the Horizon section at the Venice Film Festival. How did that feel? Well, you know, you don't make films to get price, you know, but when you get it, it's kind of a, uh, you know, it's like a, tap, uh, you know, something to say, yeah, 
go 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 continue try to do your best so yeah of course it's 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 great it's fun but uh, at the same time you know we shouldn't think too much about that and uh, try to make an, the next one that's the most important part yeah. and how long did it take from the first idea to the final film oh i would say three four years but because of the covid you know the the the, the takes a year, a year and a half to write, but after that we had to finance, and after the finance there was the COVID, so we had to stop uh, the production while we were preparing the film because of the COVID, so we, 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 we wait for six, eight months, and we start again after, and, but it was different because uh, the, 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 we shot a lot in Paris, and Paris was different after the COVID, you know, before the COVID there was a lot of people in the street, it was very frenetic, and after the COVID, everything was really quiet. And I wrote a story where everything is very frenetic. So we had some difficulty to, to, to bring back this kind of Paris, yeah. And how did you manage to do so? Uh, I had to find everywhere I can that you can find, you know, a little bit of traffic at that time of the day, at that uh, specific time, at the specific angle with the camera. And we had to fight to find every little place where we can have it. And uh, we said, okay, maybe if we come back, you know, at that time of the day, uh, uh, with this angle, we'll, we'll, we crossed our finger that we could get it. And we, that's how we, we got it every, every shot, you know, one at a time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the film is wonderful and perfect the way it is. But would you have done anything different if you had, let's say, unlimited money or unlimited time? Well, no, because I think the, the fact that we didn't have as much money to, let's say, uh, present strikes or riots, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I, I think the fact that we didn't have the money to make it, make it more probable possibly powerful because you can imagine how it looks like and it, and the fact that we shot the character very close always very close because we don't want to see we don't have uh, hundreds and hundreds of extras was making the film more close to her so that the, the you know the, the compromise that we had helped I think to make the film the way the way it is so yeah I was happy with the, I think so too. <laughs> the result. What about the future? Is there anything you can already talk about? Well, my first two films were about you know workers and women workers and uh, the balance between work and, and and personal life. And I think the next one will be about that too. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Thank you very much for the interview and good luck with the film. Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.